Early in 2016, when I was appointed to take over my husband's uh, position on county council, I got a phone call from a dear friend. And it started with, would you have some time to just meet with me, uh, maybe a couple other people down at the Sheridan. Um, I want to talk to you about something that um, I think is pretty exciting. And that was the start. That was when my dear friend, Rondi Nicola, took the lead to start a community college for Erie County. Though the push for a standalone community college in Erie County continues, this time community leaders are trying to rally support from residents. The newly formed Community College Committee released an action plan today that will push for the community college. The plan sets forth a multi-faced me uh, media, facet media and advocacy campaign aimed at building citizen support for the college. Once the campaign is finished, officials from the county executive's office will present the campaign to the Department of Education to show how much Erie County residents want a community college. The plan was drafted by the nonprofit organization Empower Erie. If we have to mobilize our citizens, which we will, to go to Harrisburg, if we have to uh, uh, provide information to the governor and to the Board of Education, we will do whatever is necessary. Um, we've been through some battles together. This was probably the biggest one, uh, certainly the most successful one. Um, I got involved in the project because I felt that uh, Erie needed a community college and that Ron seemed to have a plan to get it done. Um, he had the facility to gather the right people into the right place at the right time and everybody worked together to accomplish what we did, which is getting the state to issue the charter for the school. Ron's determination, drive, organizational skills, and personal skills uh, were what really got the thing over the finish line. He knew what to do, when to do it, and uh, as a result, we got it done. Uh, if there ever was a Balboa, Rocky Balboa in Erie was Ronnie. Ronnie defied all odds, all odds. And Ronnie said to me, we're gonna take this to the churches, not knowing that we would hit eight, nine churches in three or four weeks. And in that, in those churches, what he said about the Erie Community College permeated and it just uh, outswelling Erie, Erie County. And uh, through, this, through this mission, uh, through meeting these people, uh, this was instrumental in our Erie Community College succeeding. We know that too many of our poor children in our community uh, can't afford uh, to go uh, and advance uh, learning after high school uh, because of the cost of uh, education. Pennsylvania has 14 community colleges. Ron DiNicola of Empower Erie says they are receiving over $300 million a year. We're paying for that. We don't have a community college. We really need to get our fair share and make sure that our students are getting an opportunity to change their future. He says Dr. King was an activist for concrete change for citizens. He was a big believer that we can overcome the circumstances of our birth and a community college just does just that. And now we have an Erie Community College where every other uh, area in, in Pennsylvania, seven or eight, they have it. Why not us? And we got it. And it is here and it is now and it will remain here. We pass away, the Erie Community College will still be here. And I want to thank Ronnie Dinokova and his network for allowing this to happen. Ron, here we are, today in front of the community college. Something that many people never thought could be accomplished. But you did. You knew it would happen. And you had the fortitude and the commitment to stay in there fighting to ensure that it did happen. Um, and 
because I have left Erie now to go to Indianapolis. It's probably the one thing I'm proudest of, of all of the accomplishments that were done was the, was the founding of the community college. But without Ron Nicola, it doesn't happen. We are lucky to have you in this community. We are lucky to have you in our lives. Congratulations and a job well done with the community college. I don't know what the next item is going to be in your life story. I look forward to it, whatever it is. I just want to take a minute to say thank you for leading the board for the last two years and getting us to where we are today. And not just the last two years, because I know how much you've worked on this for years and years. And I don't know where we would be without you. I wish you every success. Please, please stay involved. We need you. Thank you so much. The efforts you made as the leader of our board to take these nine very different personalities, and I think you were aware that there were a lot of different personalities on this board. And somehow you helped us all to gel, to come together, work at, as a unit. Of course, we had our differences of opinion, and that's fine, that's what we're supposed to do. But at the end of the day, at the end of every meeting, I think we walked away still as friends, having learned from one another maybe some things that we all need to do differently. And I think that's what we can thank you the most for, for helping that dynamic to be created. Nine different and distinct personalities coming together, working toward a common cause. And we did it with success. I will go to what I find as the singular gift of uh, the work that we've done together. It has been extensive. It had, we have faced so many challenges together uh, in, with Empower Erie as well as with this Board of Trustees. And at every challenge, we have experienced what it is to support each other towards the vision. But for me, um, and for some others as well, that has meant years of collaboration, years of being colleagues. And that's a gift that is rare to have a, a vision that persists over years, that encourages us and shows us how to persist uh, over years to achieve in the tough times with barriers and in the glory days as in, you know, opening September 1st, 2021. Uh, we've had many experiences that have called for the best of us, for each other, and for this effort. And that I acknowledge and will never forget. Charity Nicola, hey man, you've done it. Your decades long fight, it's become a reality. The community college is here, it's gonna make a difference for students for generations to come, long after you and I are gone. But we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you and your compatriots who fought like hell to make this dream a reality. So while you're technically not my boss anymore, you're always gonna be my boss. You're always gonna be a mentor and you're always gonna be a friend. And that's true of all of us here in Erie County because you have made a significant difference. Thank you. Hi Ron, just wanted to tell you how proud we are of you and all the hard work that you've done and congratulations on all the success with the community college. Congrats Papa, we can't wait to see what you take on that. Love you. I tip my hat to you and you have best wishes and I know that in the near future you'll be in battle somewhere. Uh, my phone is still on. Uh, I know that when you call, chances are is I'll be in the battle with you. There's not another person in your account uh, that I would uh, go into battle with in the man that I went with attorney David Cole. Ron, best wishes. And we thank you from the bottom of our heart for everything that you've done for this endeavor. Working with Ron is uh, always an adventure, it's always a pleasure, and I would do it again if I had a chance. Thanks so much for being that fellow shoulder to the wheel. While I thank all of my former colleagues and the entire staff and Dr. Gray, I want to particularly thank you for making this happen and for helping these doors to open. Thanks and good luck to you. Best wishes, my friend. We're going to miss you, Ron.